Let's talk as a business owner about brand protection. People can go on and talk about you in any way they want. So we have a program we call the Brand Protection Toolkit. And we have a document that you must download. And I'm gonna walk you through it right now because it is a powerful way for you to be in control of your online assets. They're, they're all over the place. Every time I sit down with a company, I'm like, okay, where's your YouTube? What's your LinkedIn? What's your Google Analytics? They're like, um, and everyone's just looking at each other like, do you know where it is? Do you know where it is? How about you, do you know where it is? Oh, that guy that used to work for us, he set that up. Well, oh, that guy used to work for us, he did that. I'm like, oh God, here we go. So I want, I want to make sure that this does not happen to you. So let's take a look at my, what I call the executive login sheet. This is all of the things that I see people looking at each other for. Do you know where that is? Is that the guy that left? Is that the guy we fired? You know, there's all these things that have to be in one location. So let me walk you through some of the critical ones. First of all, your website. When does your domain name expire? And what credit card is associated with that domain? Very important that you know when those things are going to be expiring. Like I said in a prior video, make sure always to buy two years ahead on your domain. Don't wait till it has three months out. I don't care if it's on auto renewal. Google doesn't know it's on auto renewal. So when it sees you get down to like six months and then three months and then one month, it's like, uh, are you coming back? Where are you going? So it gets a little nervous about that. So make sure you have that purchased ahead. Your website hosting, also very important that you're on a secured server and you have a dedicated IP. Just call them and say, I want HTTPS on every page of my website. That's a secured server. And a dedicated IP address is you're not sharing. Most of the hosting companies, they sell shared IP addresses. Sharing is not caring. We want to make sure that we're not sharing our IP address. All right, moving on, blog. Now, if you have a WordPress website, then you already have a blog. It's part of the system that is WordPress. So when you go into your back end of your website, you'll see that there are posts and there are pages. Pages are pages on your website and posts are your blog. Now, what's important about the blog is that you know how to get in, you know how to delete, and you have the username and passwords for your blog. Very important. Usually they're the same as your website. So make sure you have your website logins as well, that you have them at a moment's notice, you can grab it. Now, my husband did an extensive research on, on, on encrypted tools like LastPass, and I recommend LastPass because it is double, in, actually it's triple encrypted. It's encrypted on your computer, it's encrypted in the cloud, and it's encrypted in your account on the cloud. So if for whatever reason, someone walks out the door, they have all of these logins and they're not super happy, you get that panicky feeling because you don't know what they're gonna do and you don't know where they live to go and shut them out. So by having this, even if it's written down, locked in your desk, I don't care as long as you have it where you can pull it out and say change, 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 boom, you're protected and that person is on their merry way. But you know that as a business owner, as, a, you know, as an executive, as even just an entrepreneur, those assets are gold for you. We need to really treat them as precious items and don't just give your you know, logins out to just anybody. It's very important. Okay, moving on is Google Analytics. So google.com slash analytics. Yes, it's pretty nerdy. I get it. And a lot of people set it up and they never look at it. So we're gonna be doing a lot of, of uh, videos around Google Analytics, but just make sure you've got your logins and, and make sure that all of your Google assets, so your Google business listing, your Google Analytics, your Google Webmaster Tools, which we'll talk about in a minute, everything is under the same login. So if you have them all over the place, make sure you get them all back together and set up a Gmail account, like your name admin at gmail.com. So mine would be findabilityadmin at gmail.com. I go into Google Analytics, I change the email address. I go into Webmaster Tools, change the email address. So everything is pointing toward that one profile. Google wants to be able to understand that every profile, every website has a human connection to it. So when you go in and you set a Gmail up, you have to put your contact information, your name, your phone number, you establish a human presence behind a digital presence. So it's really important that you set that up and put everything under the same domain or the same logins, trust me, you're gonna to wanna to do this because they're probably all over the place. Okay, so that's Google Analytics. The next one is your social media. 
So I don't know how many of you are actively doing social. However, Google looks and sees if you have all of those social handles that match your domain name. So Google, Facebook business page, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, Reddit, and Snapchat. You, and you're like, I'm, never, I'm a law firm. I'm never gonna use Snapchat. It's not that I think you're never gonna use it, is that I don't want anyone else to get it. So by going in there and reserving all of those, you're really protecting yourself in a big way. I have seen some nutty stuff show up under these accounts. Porn sites under like marine diesel engine companies. Porn. I was in, an, uh, I was in a conference room with all the executives and I'm already, I'm assuming, this is a while ago, uh, that they had already, you know, reserved all their domains in their name. So sure enough, of course, in front of the entire senior uh, leadership team, I pull up their Twitter account and it has been hacked and it is full of porn and not in a good way. And I pulled it up on a massive screen in this conference room. It was like, I just wanted to die. All the guys laughed, but it wasn't very funny. Uh, and then we had to, of course, do triage and go in and make sure that all the other social media accounts were set up in their name. They had the logins and passwords. So please go in, set all of them up. Even if you have no desire to use it, you know no one else is going to get it. Okay, cruising down here. The next big one is Google Webmaster Tools. That sounds really fancy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. No, it's just where Google is able to have a human connection again with your website. So Webmaster Tools will tell you how often does Google come and index your page? Are you being penalized? Will it give you all of the indicators that Google is looking for? Very important. And the Webmaster Tools is like your backstage pass to what Google thinks about your website. It's really important. And if your website goes down, you will immediately go to Webmaster Tools, also called Search Console. I'm not sure why it has two names, but it does. And that's where you'll go to figure out what the skinny is. Why am I not seeing my website? Have we been penalized? What's going on? You'll see it right there, it's great. Okay, Google Alerts, another big one people have set up incorrectly. Google Alerts is you wanna make sure, google.com slash alerts, that you've got them set up, use quotes, and put in all your names, all your brand assets, the whole nine yards, make sure you got that set up. Google Business Page, so google.com slash business. Again, use your Gmail logins, claim your business listing, and make sure that you've tricked it out with all of your own images and all of your own content. Yeah, and another one, a big one is, when does your domain expire? Like we said earlier, if you get down to the wire and there's like a month left on your domain, Google is not going to rank it. It's gonna hold it back and then it's gonna say, okay, we'll wait and see if you upped up, up your domain and then we'll, we'll kick you back in. Uh, and then of course, claim your Glassdoor and your Yelp listings. If you're an employer, you have a Glassdoor account. You just need to go in and claim it. Um, what happens is someone leaves, they flame all over Glassdoor. It's not pretty and I've seen some nasty stuff go down on Glassdoor. So the reason I want you to get ahead of it is so you can protect the, the, the narrative or the story that's happening around that negative talk. So you get in there, you load all, all your pictures in there. It, in most cases, you'll see it right under your corporate brand in search results under your name, and you're just gonna make sure that you go in there as the CEO or the owner, you make sure that that listing is exactly what you want it to say and how you want it to look. And then finally, Yelp. Make sure to, to claim your Yelp account and go in there and again, trick it out just like you would your Google business listing or your Glassdoor. These assets are critical, especially for word of mouth. I'm just Googling you and I'm checking you out. These things will turn people. So that is your brand protection toolkit. Download the document. The link is in the description and on the video. And if you love this kind of content like I do, subscribe to my channel ring the bell that's right next to the subscribe button so you get notifications every day when I post a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.